Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Uh, today I'm doing, uh, well, let's just say a major overhaul of my V2. Yeah, I'm going through a few items here. So uh, I'm replacing the original ABS A, motor, a and B motor mounts with these CNC and aluminum motor mounts. Um, and I went with the aluminum ones specifically because I'm also upgrading my A and B stepper motors from LDO 2504 steppers, which already are pretty decent stepper motors, to the even better LDO 2804 uh, superpower motors. So uh, both the A and B are going to be getting those um, later today, and uh, I am running those uh, A and B motors at 48 volts, so I should be able to push the run current up. Um, I'm told by other people who've done this that it should be able to achieve like about 2.6 amps, 2.8 amps run current reliably, but that these motors run hot and for that reason um, you want to mount them to metal rather than ABS because otherwise the motor mounts will deform if they're plastic. So um, getting that done later today. Um, I've also decided to remove the ultralight um, X gantry rail or extrusion that I had before. Um, I think it wasn't really giving me any benefit from what I can see from input shaper results and so I went back to the original 2020 aluminum. Uh, I may try other X gantries at some point, um, but for now I'll stick with tried and true. Um, I also removed my um, CNC aluminum XY joints because they are um, they were not you know doing much for me as far as rigidity was concerned um, and they also required me to remove this tooth idler and replace it with a bearing stack which I think was adversely affecting my input shaper results as well so going back to again more of a stock configuration when it comes to the uh, X gantry. But wait, there's more. Um, I have already Ramalama 2 front idlers for A and B and or X and Y and um, I have them printed in my old color scheme and I've reprinted them in my new purple and blue color scheme so they're also getting removed and transplanted. Uh, and then in addition to that um, I have printed these toolless uh, Z um, tensioners idlers. Um, which sit at the top of the printer up here and they're getting replaced uh, the original ones stock ones are getting replaced with these guys so um, by the end of the day I should have almost a new printer um, and the other thing that's going on with all of these transplants is that uh, for everywhere where there is a um, tooth idler or bearing stack um, they're all going to be mounted using pins five millimeter dowel pins rather than bolts, uh, which also can affect the um, the functionality and in input shaper graphs. Um, and I'm also going with these GE5C um, bearing Z joints um, on each of my Zs. So I've pulled the belts out. I'm going to rebelt everything. I'm going to have to retension everything once everything's physically assembled again. Uh, it's going to be a bit of work, but I'm hoping that by the end of today, um, I should be getting some better results from um, my input shaper tests on this printer. And yeah, I'll record another video later to let you know how that goes. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And have a great afternoon.